Hi guys, quite windy today and today is the new episode. I will show you an exterior of Phallos and there are a lot to show you just now that all is finished and we start just now. You can see Halos, the marina. Today is windy and a lot of wind coming. This is the Pumton where the birth, where Halos stay. Here, Halos. Perfectly. You can see that those two cities on the halyards uh, they avoid the, the pigeons and the birds shit on my tick deck and after put those two cds i have no more shit on my deck and this is fantastic <laughs> you can see the tick now is completely gray um, it's time to show you the port. This is the original Barbossa that come with the boat. It's uh, very useful to tension the backstay and give the correct shape of the mast when there is too much wind. It worked very well. original mat and this is my cable I will show you I have a galvanic isolator okay this is my galvanic isolator uh, now it's time to insert the current because I need to recharge my batteries and then we start to, to charge the battery this is the main 220 switch so main I will use not the refrigerator only the battery charger and immediately I will put on the general uh, switch that control all my battery inside and ta-da we have just now we check the batteries oh, 3080 you can see here all the battery go up they are still full charger but I need to give some power to the battery to get always full battery and avoid to ruin the battery. This is a uh, very nice stuff. Okay, so we can put on some stuff here, but at the moment I need to show you the exterior of Phallos. So guys, this is the exterior of the board. All my winch are protect. I need to change those winch because I don't like the clits here is very dangerous for the finger. This is all the engine control. This is the revs. This is the control of the engine. This is the switch that control the um, diesel uh, valve to shoot off the diesel valve. And this is the anchor, anchor lift from the cockpit. In the other side, I have the electric one and the two USB waterproof uh, connection. Uh, you can see here. 
are my clits and another things I need to fix the next time will be to make some protection here um, a piece of stainless steel to protect the tick from the ropes but um, before do that I wait all this season to check uh, which is the best place to put the stainless steel uh, protection in both side uh, all my setup is made from Antal all the line is Dyneema and are made from Armari ropes you can see here my Gino truck I have two cars it's more easy to give the correct inclination from the truck to the winch and also I prefer to get one spare for safe this is C4C logo and this is all the lazy bag completely uh, finished and the protect them I also made all the lazy jack splicing the line that I bought from Armade is a, a special line made for this one and I use all the rings uh, made by Armare. This is very nice stuff to make the lazy jack and I already did in the previous boat and work very well. It's very soft and very resistant. Those are Dynam, this is the, the bank. All my hatch are protected to protect the plexiglass from the sun. And this is the anchor. You can see also here I have no protection for the sheet there, for the line. And because they ruin my tick, I will use one piece of metal that I already buy from Alberossi part to protect all my tick there. But I will do at uh, the beginning next year, at the moment it's all. The, Roller Fuller is the 40 years uh, uh, anniversary edition made by Bamar. It's only one with the blue color, so I match the color with all Alberassi colors. And the line is blue. I use the Schaefer stuff, you can see in any, in any extension there is the roller made from Schaefer. Also, all my line are bring to the cockpit using the base you already see when I install it and see and all the line I'll bring to the cockpit next year I will put there some support for those lines to lift the line from the cockpit so the jersey don't stop there but it's a war for the next year in any case I need to figure out for sure how to fix how to fix the line for the furler because normally I use this clit but when you refine the furler it's quite difficult because the power of the wind is uh, cut your hand so I need to figure out how to to make a perfect job but for sure I will use when I take out those ones I will uh, put some uh, stopper or some jump clit depend of the setup but I will see I all the winter to think about that I really don't know if put near this clit, you can see here the block or on the capping rail. I uh, will see and yeah, we're thinking about it, it's not easy. Uh, at the end, the hunker I need to put here, I need to put here a block to fix the hunker in position when sailing and take off the strength and the tension from the windlass so we will see I ordered this shackle here is a bow one and why this one because much the same material of the hunker and the chain so I have no difference in material and galvanic corrosion so I don't want to use stainless steel here I use this one and this is very good because it is G7 same strength of the chain that my chain is a magic G7 this is G7 shackle and there is the hanger so the line is completely in the same strength so I'm very sure that nothing could happen but I need to figure out how to fix the hanger it's not the best in any case I need to make a brand new a roller white one with the shape of the hunker so it's more uh, stable but we will see
Hi guys, thank you very much for watching this very short video that will show all the work I need to do in the next month on Elos to get a perfect boat. There are a lot to do, but will be when the weather will be more and more warm. At the moment, I try to edit the video I already shot, including the winterizing on the engine. I would like to thank uh, the guys from Alberassi Connected, the original and only club approved by Alberassi. Hello guys from Holland and I hope to see you very soon. So guys, you will find me on my Facebook page, just the link below, and YouTube page that you already see. So guys, we see in the next episode. For the moment is all and have a good Sunday. Ciao!